We're set out the back of the Scrumpy Bar uh, at the National Folk Festival with a bit of ambient brass band in the background. And I'm talking to Stefan. Yeah. Hi. And I'm talking to Aaron. And they're from Franklin. Franklin. Tell us about Franklin. It's a five piece band. We have trumpet, and I, Stefan, I write the songs. Yeah, I'm just inspired by Bob Dylan and uh, Neil Young and such, like those classical folk pop, folk rock yeah. type things. Yeah. yeah. I'm from Sweden, so. Yeah. There's a bit of an accent you can probably hear in our music. Just touch. <laughs> yeah. We've been playing for about three years now. We're from Melbourne. We live in Melbourne now. Yeah. And it's been really fun. So you play folky pop sound. There's a bit of brass in there. There's a lot of different elements. Do you find a lot of traction getting into festivals? Well, we've only really started playing festivals this year. We did a Hills Are Alive last weekend, and now we're doing the National Folk Festival. Yep. And we did some street festivals in Melbourne prior yep. to that. But it seems like uh, yeah, it seems like people are responding well to it, and we hope to play even more uh, festivals. Yeah, it's really probably one of the best things about being in a band. Aaron is way funnier than me, though. You should talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to, to cross over to Aaron. Your background is in Melbourne music. Yeah, I've studied to playing the trumpet at Monash University, so I did like an improvisation degree. Oh wow, which is good. If so, an improvisation handy. degree does that mean like you do a, chuck a bit of political science or something in there? <laughs> yeah, you just make it up. You just do whatever you want. Um, no, it's music, so jazz yeah. primarily. But I've also been going to the national for a number of years and smaller folk festivals, and so I guess that's where sort of all the influences creep in. Yeah. Morris dancing influences. <laughs> No. Melbourne's a huge market. How do you go for getting gigs? I mean, we started really just playing a lot of support shows with our friends. And I think the question about getting into festivals and things, I think the hard part for us is because we play so many different styles, it's almost like whatever song you listen to, you're going to get a completely different idea of what the band does. So giving the right material to them so they can actually get a... It's pretty hard to get a whole overall idea of the band. And you've done some recording. You've got a CD out? Yeah, we recorded... It's been a couple of years now since we were in the studio. A really good friend of ours, Nick Huggins, produced and recorded it in Richmond. Yeah, so that's that's out. It's been our probably our biggest milestone yet. Yeah. And 2013, what's in the pipeline for Franklin? We're gonna probably try to go and do some demoing. Uh, just go away to the coast with an engineer and just uh, have time to just chill and record new songs. And I was hoping also to maybe strip it back a little bit more, okay. make it maybe a little bit more folky. I guess me and Aaron have like a background in folk. We met at a folk festival actually. Okay. And that's the whole reason I was able to live in Melbourne, because uh, Aaron let me move in with him. But we were at Taramara, which is a little folk festival. I don't know if you've uh, Taramara written Taramara in Victoria? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's called, the folk festival is called Taramara, but it's in Dean's Marsh. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's <laughs> so it's not the Taramara in Sydney, it's just a small yeah. run by the Geelong Folk Club, okay. with just workshops and stuff, that's where we met. So we can expect to hear great things from you guys this year? Yeah, there'll be another album uh, probably before the end of the year, but yeah. we really want to take our time with it, just have fun with it, just try things out and see where we end up. But I, I got like a stack of songs, like a hundred that we haven't recorded yet, so we're just trying to plough through some of them. <laughs> Look out around in the gig guides, Franco Lynn. Guys, thanks for your time. Yeah, thank you very, thank you very much. much. Cool.